Hi everyone! Welcome to the Space Claim tutorial by Scutio. Today we are going to see how to repair an STL file for 3D printing. Please check out our first Space Claim tutorial entitled How to model a 3D printable object by Scutio to have a complete overview on modeling for 3D printing with Space Claim and to better understand this tutorial. In this video, we are going to explore the best features of the new STL editing tools in Space Claim by studying concrete examples. The new STL editing tools can be found in the Facets tab in Space Claim. Let's start with a version of the bridge with a car and a sphere in a box on it that we created in the first part of this tutorial. This time, the bridge has been very badly modeled with a lot of 3D printing issues. The first thing to do is to go into the Facets tab and select Check Mesh in the Cleanup section. Then, by clicking on the mesh you want to check, you get all the errors that are detected in your mesh. Here we have an object with multiple pieces, a self-intersecting mesh, an over-connected mesh, non-manifold vertices. These two last points are linked and basically mean that there are non-manifold parts in the mesh. We are going to solve these issues one by one. First, we are going to separate all the pieces in this mesh by hitting Separate All in the Organize section. The initial mesh is now separated into six smaller meshes. There are two different types of icon in the structure tab, mesh cubed and mesh surface. A surface icon indicates that the corresponding mesh needs repairs. So I check the first problematic mesh, which is the car, and the check mesh tool indicates that there are multiple pieces and non-manifold parts. By zooming in, I can see that the four square wheels are linked to the body only by edges, which is not possible in real-world objects. You might think that the autofix tool will solve everything for you, but this is actually not very efficient. Here, the problem is not really solved, as the car's body is still linked to the wheels only by edges. So we need to solve this problem manually. To fix this issue, I can convert this mesh to a solid with merged faces. Choosing separate faces will create one solid for every single face. By pulling the body down, I make it a manifold solid and when I turn it back to a mesh, I have no issues anymore. This time, the check mesh tool indicates that there is no remaining issue. Let's solve the issues linked to the other surface mesh. The check mesh tool indicates that I have multiple pieces, self-intersecting objects and non-manifold vertices. I click on the Intersections tool and then on a mesh I want to clean up. The intersecting parts appear. When I hit the green checkbox, Space Claim solved the intersection issues. It seems that all my meshes are clean, but keep in mind that Space Claim can only spot mesh errors and not modeling errors. For instance, the bridge support does not touch the arch and is thus useless for the solidity of the structure. I convert the support to a solid and pull it until it is in the middle of the arch. I convert it to a mesh again and use the merge tool in the modify section. This way, I am sure to avoid any self-intersecting issues. The only remaining step is to combine meshes that are in contact. At the end, I have two remaining meshes, the sphere that is inside the box and the rest of the bridge. My STL file is ready to be printed. I can export my STL file and upload it to scontio.com to print it. The eventual remaining issues will also be repaired by the online repairing tools after the upload. I take care to select the single object option to make sure that my design is printed in one single run with the ball inside the box. I can use the online serenity tools to review my design before printing it. If you want to learn more about how to repair an STL file for 3D printing, check out the next part of our tutorial which is more focused on repairing file for a 3D scanner. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, see you soon on scootier.com.